Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Strat Gamer here, running with the new Age of Empire 4 episode. If you've missed my previous episode around the 10 tips for veterans and new players, don't hesitate to check it out. It will appear now at the top and will also be in the video description below if you want to look at it later on. Today we're going to talk about Art of War missions. Um, this is not new, this uh, was also available in previous uh, episodes. In particular in Age of Empire 3, we had quite a few and some of them were, I wouldn't say challenging, but were not the easiest to get the gold medal. Now today, at least for now, we have five that are called training. I could see potentially in the future having more here, but for now, we only see those fives, which are definitely what I would call tutorial-like. You know, one is early economy, late economy, basic combat, early siege and late siege. And I played each of these once, you can see the result there where I got gold for the first two, actually only got bronze for the basic combat one, and then uh, silver, almost gold for uh, both of the uh, siege ones. So I just played them once and I can see already got quite a, I mean, I wouldn't say it's perfect, it's definitely far from perfect, but um, definitely some, some good medals. So I can see that we will be able to get gold on all of them without too much um, bubble, I think. So that's basically going to be um, what these next few videos will be about. Today we'll focus on the first one, I'll show you how to get gold in early economy, and then the next one, etc, etc. Don't hesitate to share any thoughts, feedback, suggestions that you may have below. Um, and otherwise, let's just dive in. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, don't hesitate to do so, so you never miss another video. Because, of course, we are going to also do other videos on Age of Empire 4, and I have all the other games that I do cover too. One thing you may want to look at is those gameplay tips here. That you can obviously queue villagers um, from the start. I think there's also a gameplay tip around... Yeah, hunting provides food more quickly than farming or gathering berries. And that's a key one if you want to get gold here. Um, that the ship will follow your scout around. So that's important to get them back to uh, your villagers. So yeah, you know, that's basically the tips you need. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to do it um, quite quickly now. This is taking some time to load. And in this first one, we'll start with a quick cinematic. If you want to um, skip it, don't hesitate to use the chapter functionality at the bottom. When the game begins, you must produce new villages to rapidly grow your settlement. To support them, First, focus on putting your existing villages to work, gathering food from nearby sheep. While your villages are working, use your scout to explore the surrounding area and locate additional resources. When you find more sheep, use your scout to herd them back to your town so that your villagers always have food to gather. Once your scout finds a herd of deer, order your villagers to hunt them. A growing town needs more buildings to support its residents. Construct additional houses to increase your population capacity. Place economic buildings near resources so that your villagers gather more efficiently and waste less time walking. You can also improve your villagers' gathering rates by researching new technologies at your economic buildings. Survival techniques, for example, allows your villagers to hunt faster and carry more food. When you have enough villagers, advance to the next age by constructing a landmark. Each landmark provides a different set of benefits, so choose wisely. When your landmark is complete, 
your village will spring into the next age, ready to keep growing. To complete this challenge, you must produce many villages and gather enough food and gold to place a landmark and advance to the feudal age. Good luck. Okay, so pressing H to get to the town hall, starting a few already. Start by ordering your existing villagers to gather food from sheep, then queue up additional villagers at your town center. Okay, so... Use your scout to explore the surrounding area and locate additional resources. Your villagers should chop some wood. Send one of your villagers to build a lumber camp near the closest forest. Your villagers need houses. Build a house each time that you have two or less remaining population capacity. Sheep will not fill your food stockpiles forever. Build a mill next to the nearby herd of deer and begin hunting. Your other food gatherers can join the hunters once all the sheep are gone. Okay, um, so you saw I started right away. Send your scout south to find the deer closest to your town center. Now is a good time to begin mining gold. Use a villager to build a mining camp near the closest gold vein. Remember to keep producing new villages. Order new villagers to mine gold as well. Oh, another ship there, so it's critical to always go as quickly as possible with your scout, find ship, because this is what we're going to use for food. I don't actually remember because as I said I played all this one only once. Yeah, I think that's the last one. Oh shit. We need 11 villagers so we need to continue queuing them for sure. We'll also need one more house but we don't need it yet. And continue just searching in case I missed one. Maybe over there. I think I missed one over there. getting the goal so that's fine and we actually only need 200 so we already have what we need so we can go on food now maybe one can build the other house i need and here i found one more okay and we're gonna need 400 to get to the next age. Yeah, I don't know why they are here. They don't need to be there. And the, the limit in this um, Mission really is actually the 21 uh, villagers because you can't build a second town hall. So at least that's the limit I've found. Because now we have everything else. I don't know why this guy, I forgot. You have enough resources to construct a landmark, but you also need more villagers to finish this challenge. And that's enough now. As I said, you know, the limit really is this because we already have all of the resources we need. We already have the limit, the right population limit. We just need those people now to be created. Now everybody's idle, that's fine. These won't make us win in a 
quicker let's say so there's no point and as you saw i didn't build a meal like they were saying close to those deers or these ones or where they are the other ones yeah these ones because we already have enough with all the ship and we just went in one more and we'll win so that's why you want to start by launching new people. That's the first thing you want to do when you start the mission, because this is what's blocking you to get the a record. So yeah, I think pretty hard to get better than this. Well done. You have quickly built up your economy and are ready for the next Don't hesitate game. to share in the comments below if you have any questions, thoughts, or if you did better. How did you do it? I'd love to hear about it. And if you like this video, do the donut, hesitate to press the like button and hope to see you next time.